Hello YouTube. I wanted to talk to you today about a game called Imperia and Galactic Survival. I've been trying to throw videos together and doing some let's plays and stuff like that. But the problem with the game is there isn't really any uh, auto save in the game. It kind of saves when you exit the game, from what I understand anyways. And the problem is when it's crashing, it doesn't give it that time to save the game. So, what I'm going to show you is my little workaround. Uh, you might have your own way. If you do, that's fine. Keep doing what you're doing. This is what worked for me, and I just wanted to put it out there. And hopefully the guys that are making the game realize that this is an issue and probably something they need to include with the next update. But until they do, the program I'm using is called Direct Sync Pro. I'm going to put the link in the description, and it's an open source free program so we're gonna go to Google and my thing is set to Google search automatically so I'm gonna put in direct sync pro and it'll be the first hit that comes up on the search I'm gonna click on that and then you want to download the MS executable portable uh, the latest version so we're going to click download send you to source forge for the actual download itself and we're going to save the file and we'll minimize it of that and just so you can find the program and know where it is uh, you can do it if you want to if you don't 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 do it but I'm going to go into my PC I'm going to go into my C drive and program files. Let's go in program files 86. We're going to make a new folder. And we're going to call it Direct Sync Pro. And then we're going to go into our downloads folder. And then as you can see, it is a uh, WinRAR. So we're going to copy that into the folder we just made in our programs file. These, uh, these. promise you I know my alphabet. And we're going to copy it into there. And then what you want to do is you want to right click the zip file. And you want to select extract here and I'll also put in a link in for uh, WinRAR in case you don't have it I don't know who wouldn't have it but you never know just in case delete and then before I forget so to get into uh, your C program files you want to click on my computer you want to go into your C drive that Windows is installed in and then you want to go into program files okay so now that it's there, what you want to do is open up that folder. And there's two things that we need to go over before we go any further. Um, you need to know where Steam is saving your games. So for most people, it'll be in your C drive under um, Program Files 86, I believe. Yes. And then you'll go in here and you'll find your games. For me it's a little different. I've got my Steam set up to uh, save on another hard drive other than my SSD. And for me it is my computer F drive Steam library Steam apps common and here's where all my game saves are. I'm going to go to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm going to go into Saves and then Games. And then I have my two saves here that I'll actually see on my game itself when I load the files. So I'll show you that right now. So one of the folders is called Creative, the other one is called Main Game. And if I launch Imperion Galactic Survival and I go into Resume Game, there's my main game, there's Creative. Just to show you guys that it is my save files okay so now that we know where that is and I'll put a link 
where your uh, save files are if you're not putting your saves on, a, on another hard drive other than the installation one. Um, so we know where the save file is. Saves, games, creative main. And then we're going to want to make a folder to uh, back up the actual files themselves. So for this purpose, I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to call it backed up. Imperion. So we've got that folder set up on the desktop. You can pull whatever you want. And then I'm going to open up the DirectSync Pro. And before I do that, I'm going to right click the .exe. You see how it ends? .exe. And I'm going to send to desktop. Okay, so if we click on the shortcut we put on the desktop, We'll pick accept, okay, and then what we want to do is click the drop down menu for job one, and then click the drop down or click the mode, and you'll have all these options. So, this is just to copy straight folders, and what it'll do is it'll copy from one folder to the other, and it'll delete the files in folder B, regardless of how new or how big or what's been changed and what hasn't been changed it's just a straight copies so what we're gonna call this is in the label we will call it Imperion and then we want to pick uh, folder A to folder B full and actually let's rename this Imperion and we want to select our folder A. So for our folder A again, we're going to want the save folder for the game itself. So for me, it's in the F drive, uh, Steam library, Steam apps, common, uh, Imperion, DE, saves. And I'm going to copy my main game. So click on that again, and then select that folder. And then for B, we want our destination folder. So that's on desktop, and it's backed up in Perion. And select. So we're going to go a little bit further. We've set up the folders, all that good stuff. And we're actually going to put a schedule on it. So up the top here, we're going to click on schedule. We're going to click new. And then for me, I'm going to put minutely. Um, here you can change. If you click on minutely, you can change how many minutes. I want to put every five minutes and that's fine for me and that is pretty much it and you can also enable real-time synchronization and put like a 60 second delay which is really good if you want to go even that step further but I want to give my computer a little bit of break in between saves and we'll click OK now that will happen every five minutes so what we want to do is we want to save this job Okay, so before I forget, another thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the program runs in administration mode since it's in your uh, C drive and your program files. So what you want to do is you want to go to my computer, C drive, program files, 86 is where I put it. And then you want Direct Sync Pro, the folder that you've made. And then you can even take everything that's in this folder and you can cut and right click and paste it and then a shorter way to do this would just be do this for all current items and then get rid of that folder there so to make it make sure it runs in a administrator mode you want to right click the exe you want to go into properties you want to go into compatibility and you want to go down to run this program as an administrator check that and apply and now once you launch the program you'll be able to uh, save files and actually make changes in the folder okay so now that we've got the job set up we want to make sure that we save it so we're going to go to save as and we're going to call it Imperion and save so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you exactly how it's working 
So I'm going to pull up the original folder in my F drive. And then Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, uh, Imperion Galactic Survival, Saves, Games, Main Game. Okay. Here's my save folder. Uh, this is the desktop folder that it's going to save to. As you can see, it's empty. And we're going to kind of override the five minute rule. And we're going to hit uh, sync now. So we'll push the start button. And voila, just like magic, you see it saved all your files. And then if you want it to, you could take these files here and copy them back into your original folder. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And this is my main game save. I'm gonna delete all these files. And then I'm gonna copy these files into here. And now if we open up Imperion Galactic Survival, go to resume game and as you can see my main game is still there we're gonna load it and as you can see everything is just where I left it too bad I didn't find this before I lost my ship my small vessel for the tenth time we're going to wait till morning. I'm going to show you that it is copying and the saves are sticking as changes are being made in the game. Okay, so it's the morning time. As you can see here, this wall in the base that I'm building has nothing here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add, oops, take that out. I'm going to add some blocks to it. I'm going to hit my Windows key. Game is still running. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that these two folders are up and the program is running. And again, I'm going to bypass the five minute rule and I'm going to sync it right now. And as it's syncing, it's actually deleting the files in the backup folder for the game. So now, if I use my task manager, control delete, and I just end the task as is, and then to my left, if you remember, I'm in the save folder for Steam. I'm going to delete the original files. So that would be me getting rid of the corrupted files. And I'm going to copy up, copy all the backup folders. So select it all, right click, copy. And I'm going to paste it back into the Steam save game file. And then if we open up Steam, and then play Imperion Galactic Survival again. And as you can see, let me just give myself a flashlight. Where is it? Where is it? Let's do the filter. So if I give myself a flashlight, the block is actually there. So let's add to it and we'll go through that process one more time. And again, nothing beside it build it up a little bit taller and we'll do the same thing over again or is it direct sync no sorry that's my task manager bypass the five minute rule and then we're going to close out of Imperion 
get rid of the original files. And then copy the backup. Go into Steam, start up Imperion. And as you can see, we've got our second uh, addition to the base. And that is pretty much it. Um, now, I could be wrong about the game auto saving as you go, but at the very least, this will give you a way to get rid of the corrupted files and hold on to the progress you're making. Now, if it was me and the game did crash out, I would. Well, you've got to keep this open, the program itself, to allow it to do the backups. So, this will always be running in the background. You can actually. Uh, get it to run when Windows starts up. So if you go into Tools, Options, and you click on that box, it'll automatically start with Windows. Um, but just back to what I was saying, so if the game crashed, I would definitely make sure that I closed out of this program just to make sure it doesn't copy the uh, corrupted files. But if you just happen to crash your game the second before this is going to save, then you've got worse luck than I do. And I don't know how to help you with that one. Yeah.